Hello and welcome back to another episode of Sparky's Tech Corner. Now today's gonna be a little bit different. If you can tell from the format of the video, I am trying something a little bit new. Um, I know it's the last video I actually made. It was the uh, T12 soldering iron. Um, I still have several videos of the Yamaha to get out. But I'm just doing that through time. But I noticed that the video quality that my camera was putting out was way below poor. I didn't like it. So right now I'm trying something different. I've got my webcam hooked up and I'm going to try this video with the webcam. Um, with the camera hooked up, I had to have my Blue Yeti microphone hooked up. So it's a balancing act between two different things on the desk now that I've got wires strung from the desk to the computer. It's, it's really something to behold. Um, but anyways, back to the subject of this video. We have two NES Advantage control joysticks for the NES console. Now, if you can look at them, you might see one is missing some parts, one is severely yellowed. I bought both these two online for below $10, and I'll go through and state each one. I'll start with this one first. The seller for this one, let's see, the eBay seller is Yoshi, Yoshi Master 456. And I bought this one for $10.75. The item description goes as follows. Attention, this controller is for ports repair, does not work at all or correctly. This controller has also something rattling loose ins around inside it. Being sold for parts of repair, the cord is in decent shape. Controller is for parts repair only. I guess he couldn't state that obvious enough that it was for repair only. Has cosmetic blemishes, as signif seen significant wire to controller, is dirty and needs cleaned. This is missing the Joystick ball as seen, the bottom metal plate of the surface is corroded. Now if we pick this up and we shake it, if you can hear that, there is definitely something loose inside. If we look at the bottom, the metal plate is corroded. And on the right, over here, we have the second controller. And this one, actually bought it for a little bit of a cheap price. Uh, get my phone to load here. This one comes from the eBay seller, Rifle House Media. And I bought this one for $9.99, free shipping. Here's the description for this controller. Use Nintendo NES Advantage arcade style joystick turbo controller from 1987. Tested and works, but the bottom tends to sit, st uh, the buttons tend to stick if you mash them too hard. Severely lit yellow discoloration spots are present due to sunlight and storage. Back Metal plate of controller has some rust. Controller is chipped in the lower right hand corner as pictured. So if you look at this controller, it is yellow. It is severely yellowed. And if you look, this one's a little bit worse on the rust. And we have that chip damage that they were talking about. However, this controller works. Now, Of 
Oh, controllers are dirty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them both apart. Now this is what I'm hoping for. I'm going to savage the case on this one and put it to this one. I think that this controller here is not gonna be salvageable. But we're gonna go ahead and take this one apart first, then we'll take this one apart second. And I'll go ahead and fast forward the video, like I always do during these disassemblies, put on some good music, and you can watch as both of these controls come apart. And once we get them apart, we'll go ahead and take a look at them.
And there we go. That's pretty much the tear down these two controllers. <clears throat> now that one that had the rallying, we figured out what it was by simply tearing it apart. The joystick controller is broke. So... That could be the reason why it wasn't working. Oh... I really don't see the reason why it wouldn't work. I mean... I mean, I could, I could see why it wouldn't work. But I, I don't understand why it just wouldn't. Now, looking at these controllers, the uh, boards, they do need clean, big time. Um, look like one of the boards. Uh, this one that had a broken joystick. Looks like it has some sort of uh, bracing plate on it. Look like it went. Yeah, kind of like this. Let's see. Fancy that. It won't fit. I mean, I'm not seeing damage to these boards, but that doesn't... Well, hang on a minute. No, that's just some gunk. I am seeing a couple cold solder joints on this one. This one, I'm really not seeing anything. They're both Rev H boards, but the numbers are different. This is... And the companies for the maids different, too. So, I mean, that's basically the tear down one of these Vantage controllers. We are going to definitely clean both of these up. And I'm actually going to try to salvage the second one. Um, what I've got planned, and this is the case off of this one, the one not working. I'm going to clean and retrobrite this case, the buttons, um, I might, I just might swap the buttons out with this one to that one. I'll use the better buttons. Retro bright everything. And possibly for the backing plate. And there goes my light. There we go. Possibly for the backing plate, sand it down. I'll try to protect the seal number as best I can, but sand it down and repaint it. Um, put some new feet on it. And what I'm going to do for this board is I'm going to see if I can't find just a joystick. If I can, cool. If I can't, I'll try to make this one work. I've got all the pieces. I think I can probably epoxy it back together. But then I don't know how well it'll last. So we're going to try to find a new joystick. And even though the case it's damaged right here I actually had a really good idea of cleaning the case up retro braining it and then painting it and then finding because this is just a oh, I almost had to M10 I'm not for sure what it is I want to say M10 uh, coarse red pitch bolt uh, yeah, bolt. And I can custom make a joystick knob. And we can actually custom make a themed controller pad. So, 
If you guys have any comments or recommendations of what kind of theme, you know, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to them. But that's all I'm going to do for this video today. Um, well, I got to go ahead. I got to get the stuff to do it. But I'm going to make a video dedicated to showing you how to retrobrite a case, buttons, and stuff like that. Probably go through and do another cleaning video on how I go through and clean cases and components. Same time, we'll also be doing the retrobriting of the two case lids. And we'll go through and clean up the socket board. Um... They both have capacitors on it. I'll probably go through and replace those capacitors. And I'll probably go through with a soldering iron. And we solder all these little cold joints. Like, you know, like right here, they didn't even get the actual switch tabs mounted down on that one. So we'll go through and we'll hit all these cold solder joints with flux and fresh solder. And clean all these little pads up. And we'll see if we can't get two refurbished walking controllers out of this. So, thanks for watching to the end. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.